If you'd like to see how I created this blue and silver and glitter crushed glass wall painting, as well as this foil leaf painting, keep watching this video. Hey Zoop. So today I'm going to be working on these canvases. One is, a, I believe, an 11 by 14, and one is, a, I believe, an 18 by 24. You can purchase these from Michaels. And I feel like I've been using a lot of blue lately, but I'm gonna be using blue and a metallic uh, silver color. Then I'll be using some crushed glass and some glitters. These are going to be for a property that is being staged. Um, my brother and his lovely wife, they are home investors and they are getting ready to put the house on the market and they want to have it staged. So I'm going to donate these paintings to make the house look even better. Hopefully I can get some footage of that later on in this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead. So I just squirt off the paint onto the canvas and I'm taking my sponge brush and applying it on the um, canvas as evenly as I can. And I'm just making sure that I get the edges of the canvas because I don't want to leave those white um, because that just wouldn't look good. So you wanna make sure you bring the paint all the way down to the sides. Now I usually use my um, paintbrush. I have a two inch paintbrush that I use, but I couldn't find it, so I use sponges, which is also fine. Now I noticed that when I added on the silver, which is a more expensive brand, it was very, very thick. And I shook it up and it was still just extremely thick, like it wouldn't smooth in the way I want it to. So once I had that painted on the smaller canvas, I decided to add, I guess, some highlights. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. What I ended up doing is squirting on some white to kind of lighten this up because I had an idea. Um, and then I took my little palette knife, trying to create some designs and some texture. I didn't know, you know, what direction I was taking. Then I decided to add on some foil leaf to give it a really different look. It's called Liquid Glass by a company named TriArt. And it says that this is a pouring medium and it has a resin finish. So it adds a really nice gloss and I use it because I add, it, I add the glitter to it and it just locks everything on very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started adding my... Okay, so I added on the liquid glass and I'm just kind of smoothing it out exactly where I want it to be because I want it to really hold my crushed glass. So I'm just putting the crushed glass on, which is made by Ashlyn. You can buy crushed glass from Michaels and it's usually about five or six dollars. So I like to add that on first because that's the heaviest and I want to make sure it locks on very well to the canvas. Now I'm just adding um, a darker color blue and now I'm adding some silver, like chunky holographic glitter. And then after this, I'll be adding on an extra fine glitter. I like to add multiple glitters because I really like for it to be sparkly. Now if you do this and you don't want it as sparkly, then you would just add less glitter. Then I'll dust them off and see how they look. I have let this dry for several hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off. Okay, so I have my big fluffy brush here. I'm just gonna make sure that I brush, brush, brush until nothing is no longer falling off. And I do it in a couple different directions because I wanna make sure everything is locked in there. Now, as far as the smaller canvas, this gets really messy, so I'm gonna brush the rest of this outside. So now, I'm taking you with some footage from the flip house that my sister-in-law and my brother are working on. And this is like a, a room that they're gonna put it on the wall in, either on this wall or this wall here. She just kind of sat it on the desk for now so they know to go ahead and hang it up. Now for this painting, this is actually inside of the bathroom. Now I'm gonna show you the floor she has it like over the toilet. Now look at the floor. You see how it's that lighter color um, tile there? I had that in mind when I created the canvas and made it lighter blue. And I like those lights, up, those vanity lights, so I just want to get that in my shot too. So it's going to go in that bathroom. So now what I'm showing you is just a little bit of footage around the home 
Um, this is a nice sofa they put inside that was donated to them. Uh, these are the walls that they painted like a nice little taupe color, neutral color. They put a lamp there. And this is the bedroom, the master bedroom upstairs. This is all staged. They went to local Goodwills and then some people donated some things. So this will be hitting the market in a couple of days. And it's really nice to stage a home just so when the people come through and look at it, they have an idea of how they can possibly put their things, you know? I saved the best for last, you guys. Look at this kitchen. Look at this blue in this kitchen. I've never saw a kitchen with such a pop of blue. And these countertops are amazing. They just, they're just so different. They look like a wooden floor. You can see my reflection of me holding my big two-year-old child who was asleep and super heavy. But I just wanted to show you guys um, this really nice flip home and how you can make things to help stage your flip home if you're into investing properties. And I just wanted to share this with you. And I thought it'd be really cool. And I'm just so blown away by this color blue. I've never seen this in a... And this stove is like super pretty. I love the refrigerator. Oh, and this is the master bedroom upstairs. This is a really nice closet and they draped this, um, that curtain there. And then that's a nice little shoe rack and everything was just really nice. So thanks you guys for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Oh, and here's the final finished result of the first canvas. This is the larger size canvas, the one that's gonna go inside of the bedroom. Um, at the flip house and I really do like this blue and silver blue and silver are such lovely colors and it looks really nice in that room uh, for whatever reason I'm not sure why my silver was so chunky on this canvas and maybe next time I could figure out how to thin that out but I think this did turn out very pretty I think once people do come and look at the home that they will like to see the artwork on the walls and when a home is staged, sometimes I think it's even an option. If you see something that you do like, they don't mind throwing that in um, when you purchase the home also. Um, I did another painting that was black and gold for a previous home they sold. And the people who purchased it, they wanted the painting and that was no issue. And here's the final result of the smaller canvas painting that I did. I think it's 11 by 14. The one that went inside of the bathroom um, this one is very pretty. It's very abstract. I love, love, love the foil. Foil leaf can get kind of messy, so when I dusted this one off, I did finish dusting it off outside because the foil leaf is so thin, it kind of just floats in the air and it gets like everywhere. But I love it and I want it in every color. But again, you guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope that you did get some cute ideas to maybe stage your own investment mm -hmm. property or maybe just to make some nice paintings for your own home. Um, thanks again, you guys, for watching. Make sure you hit that um, notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Bye-bye. And we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MYROYALBEAUTY10 off. Check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers.